Piranhas are thought to live only in remote tropical rivers. However, recent events have shown that these little fish can be human nightmares. Piranhas, considered waterborne weapons of mass destruction, attack humans brutally and leave a bloody trail. What goes on in the brains of these animals that causes them to aggressively attack humans? And how do you protect yourself in this battle of survival? In this episode, we're going to look at the terrifying story of a massive piranha attack on people who decided to cool off in a body of water in Argentina on Christmas Day. Hit like and subscribe right now. Welcome to the Wild Assault. Today, brace yourselves for a deep dive into the sinister realm of aquatic predators that could reduce a human to bones in the blink of an eye. Since the days of our youth, we've been regaled with harrowing tales of intrepid adventurers and fearless explorers who dared to dip their toes into the piranha-infested waters, only to become a gory feast for these merciless carnivores. Piranhas have etched their place in our collective consciousness as some of the most formidable and treacherous hunters on the planet. Just the mere thought of plunging into a river and getting devoured within minutes by a ravenous swarm of these aquatic assassins is enough to send shivers down one's spine. The stuff of nightmares took a tangible form in the James Bond classic, You Only Live Twice, where the villainous Blofeld employed a piranha tank as an instrument of punishment for Helga Brandt, who had failed in her mission to eliminate the suave spy Bond. With a bite force that could rival the American alligator, the black piranha clocks in at a jaw-dropping 320 newtons enough to effortlessly sever a human finger. But here's the twist. Despite their blood-curdling reputation, scientists are quick to point out that piranhas aren't the savage monsters portrayed in Hollywood flicks. They usually only attack humans when they themselves are in danger or hungry. Is it true? What's particularly disconcerting is the rising frequency of piranha attacks. In a chilling November of 2011, the Paraguay River in western Brazil played host to a gruesome piranha feeding frenzy, with 15 swimmers falling victim to these aquatic terrors. The scene was nothing short of a nightmare, underscoring the real peril that these voracious fish pose to anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. Among the unfortunate victims was 22-year-old Elson de Campo Pinto, who vividly described the agonizing sensation as his toe abruptly vanished into the gaping maw of a piranha. With a gory reminder of his encounter, he hastily scrambled out of the water, fearing that he might be their next course. He vowed never to return to those menacing waters any time soon. Even local fishermen who make their livelihoods along these very rivers uh, shudder at the thought of venturing into these waters. Hildegard Galeno Alves, a seasoned fisherman, spoke of his reluctance to plunge into the river even though it was his bread and butter. Bolivia bore witness to a tragic incident the following month when an inebriated 18-year-old fisherman made the ill-fated decision to leap from his boat, only to find himself enveloped by a ravenous pack of piranhas. Although he managed to escape the watery tomb, he bled to his untimely demise. Last year, a horrifying incident unfolded as a pack of these sinister fish attacked a five-year-old Brazilian girl claiming her life in the murky depths of the river. The outrage and terror following this Christmas Day attack prompted local expert Carlos Vacareza to comment, dubbing it exceptional and unlikely to happen again. According to him, the swift flowing currents in the region offered no ideal conditions for piranhas to flourish. While some speculate that the piranhas may have been lured by the refuse left behind by fishermen, Mr. Vacareza offers a more macabre explanation. Cannibalism is a grisly reality in piranha packs, where larger and more aggressive individuals often feast on their smaller brethren. As unsettling as these accounts are, today's tale takes us even deeper into the realm of these aquatic nightmares. Our story begins with a little seven-year-old girl. In the sweltering heat of the Christmas season in Rosario, Argentina, the mighty Piranha River served as a refuge for thousands of swimmers, seeking respite from the scorching 40-degree weather. Amid the festivities, the Rambla Catalunya Beach, stretching for miles along South America's second largest river, emerged as a popular destination. It boasted bars, restaurants, and entertainment fairs, making it the perfect spot for holiday celebrations. One fateful Wednesday, the beach was thronged with tens of thousands of people reveling in the joy of the season. Children and adults alike frolicked in the river's cool embrace. 
For a little seven-year-old girl, it all began innocently enough with playful splashes in the water, her tiny frame immersed up to her waist. However, an unexpected and harrowing encounter was about to unfold. As the child laughed and played, her carefree moment was shattered when she felt a sudden and forceful tug on the pinky finger of her left hand. Instinctively, she yanked her hand away, but the relentless force and the searing pain that followed prompted a piercing scream to escape her lips. Panicking and confused, she examined her hand, only to find a horrifying sight. A torrent of blood streaming into the dark waters, staining the river crimson. The little girl's cries of agony sent shockwaves through the crowded beach, striking fear into the hearts of those nearby. Tragically, her tiny finger had been torn off, and it became chillingly evident that she had fallen prey to one of the most fearsome and deadly aquatic creatures, the notorious piranha. News of the gruesome incident rapidly spread along the Rambler Catalunya. Lifeguards implored people to stay out of the water, issuing stern warnings about the lurking danger. However, the relentless heat proved a formidable adversary, and many continued to brave the waters despite the chilling accounts. What ensued could only be described as a scene straight out of a horror movie. On that ill-fated day, approximately 70 people, including nearly 20 innocent children, fell victim to a savage onslaught by a marauding pack of piranhas armed with razor-sharp teeth. The attackers, driven by primal instincts, mercilessly mauled their victims, tearing away chunks of flesh in a brutal frenzy. When the victims finally managed to escape the bloodthirsty frenzy and emerge from the water, their bodies bore gruesome testimony to the horrifying ordeal. Deep, agonizing wounds oozed crimson blood with arms, legs and feet bearing the brunt of the vicious attacks. The extent of the carnage was so severe that one unfortunate man had no choice but to undergo amputation. This nightmarish assault marked the most devastating attack on the city since 2008, when 40 swimmers suffered injuries at the jaws of these relentless predators. Fortunately, there were no fatalities in this horrifying episode, but the story seized the attention of global media. Piranhas, alongside other formidable creatures of the wild, such as great white sharks, wolves, pythons, and crocodiles, have long evoked anxiety, fear, and haunting nightmares reminding humanity of the untamed wilderness lurking beneath the surface of our world. Experts may want to assure us that piranha attacks on humans are rare, but how right are they? Perhaps the truth about scary piranhas is closer to the subject matter of horror movies than we think.